Welcome back everybody. So today we're going to have the final tasting of beer number four in my three hop series. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, ring that bell so you know when new videos are coming out. New video out each, every single day, either home brewing or craft beer related. Now I did make a five gallon split batch of this. I got the Anvil Foundry. I made a five gallon batch. I then split that into five one gallon batches and added different dry hops. So for the main um, grain bill, 11 pounds of two row, one pounds of Vienna. For the hop schedule, one hour boil, one ounce of Citra at 15 minutes, one ounce of Amarillo at 10 minutes, one ounce of Citra at five minutes. Then whatever the dry hop was, I use that three days into fermentation at 0.25 ounces. This is the Chinook version, uh, bottled on 1110, 6.65% ABV. Uh, I did review one on YouTube, then the next day I took the same five to my home brewers meeting and we drank them. Just, I wanted to get uh, feedback and uh, there are pretty, some pretty cool people there um, and I wanted to see what they thought about this. Um, most of them didn't think Chinook would work in this, but we've made some good Chinook um, smash beers. And I was like, let's just put Chinook in here. So that's why I did it. We had a good hiss. Let's go ahead and put this into the glass. Uh, I like Chinook. Um, I do make a all Chinook beer. It's usually uh, for our 4th of July bar block party. And the first year that I made it, um, me and another guy drank the whole entire keg in three hours. And last year, uh, if I, I called it Chinook IPA. I made the same exact thing. The only thing I did was add a crap ton of dry hops to it. And I'm not sure what happened. It didn't turn out. I think Steve and I did the last review on it. I, I'm pretty sure I put it out. But... Yeah, that's how it goes. Sometimes you can make the same recipe year after year and it's fine. Then one year, it's bad. So on this one, uh, we have less than a head, um, a, a smaller head than we did on all the other ones. I am doing one through five today. Um, and this one doesn't really have a head. What is that from? I'm, I'm still not sure. Uh, the other ones did have a nice head on them. I think beer one had the best head, which it still has. And then you get to one like this. So I'm not sure what causes the head to go down, especially uh, when it's from the same batch. Uh, could it be the hop oils? It could be. They're using different um, hops in the dry hop. So we could see a difference in oils. And as we know, I'm not sure if it's 100% the same, but like in coffee beans or roasted nuts, the oils kill the head. Uh, we do have, it is white from what I can see. Color. Uh, bright yellow in color, looks like beer one and two, good bubble level, very clear, uh, microscopic stuff, if you want to say it, floating in there, uh, pretty clear for the most part, which it should be. We're not putting wheat or uh, oats in here to drive up the uh, protein level to make it cloudy. This is more true IPA or pale ale, hazy IPA, if you want to call it that. Let's smell. I almost wanted to say rye, like a spiced rye, like that spice that you get from a rye, like a, a fruity spice. Like that fruit really comes through in this one and then it's just like a touch of spice in there. I think it complements it pretty well. I'm really not picking up any citrus like I have in the other ones. <clears throat> but this one, it, it almost seems like that Chinook helped amp up the fruitiness and added that little bit of spice to it. Yeah, 
Yeah, I think it smells probably the best, but we'll get into that later. But yeah, if anything, I guess if I, and I don't go back and watch my old one, so I don't know what I said uh, at the first review. But to me, it, I, I would almost say that Chinook is adding or complementing the, the, the Citra in bringing out fruitiness in there since they're all the same from the same um uh, uh batch just different dry hop that's just what it seems and then it just put in a little spice at the end like uh the the spice you get from rye let's go ahead and taste i get more citrus you get that big fruit, like a generic fruit, but then it's like a, 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 a citrus, like a lemon citrus, and it just goes throughout the whole entire palate after that. Aftertaste, it's more fruit with a hint of like lime zest. The, the, there's a little bit of bitterness in there, but my... I'm, I'm thinking lime, like, and I don't know why, because I don't think I've ever got lime out of Chinook. See that? Uh. Now it's not there. Now... It's almost like a bubble gum in the aftertaste, like a very juicy fruit bubble gum. So it must have just been the carbonation settling down or something, or my palate had to warm up to this one. Very smooth. It does... This one seems like it's not as balanced as well. I, I, I think that malt needs to be up. It needs another malt, like a, a Crystal 40, just to give it a little bit more, but you don't want to give it like that sweet caramel or anything like that. But just another a malt, just to drive it up just a tad, because it feels like that juicy fruit is just overpowering. And it's not water, but it's like on that side of water, if that makes any sense. No spice. No spice whatsoever. Aftertaste now it is, like I said, like a generic tropical juicy fruit gum. Bubble gum. Yeah, no spice. Yeah, and at that homebrew meeting, people were shocked for using um, this hop in there. Yeah, I really like this one. I, I would brew another five gallon batch of this. I don't think I got that like tropical juicy fruit bubble gum in the first one uh but i think you know it, some of these beers need to meld putting all the hops in there yeah it could taste like one thing um three weeks after it's bottled but it can also taste like something else as it ages uh you know we see that a lot in stouts and like kyle from no hype and i were talking about um i think for a peanut butter beer the 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 sooner you drink it, the more peanut butter you're going to get. I feel that fades over time. But something like this, I think this is better over two months. Now, usually with IPAs or like New England, which this isn't, um, you want to try and drink them as, fa as fresh as you can. But you have to be careful as you don't get that hot burn from all the hops that are used in there. I think this one, two months, is when I would drink it. I'll have to go back and watch the first review. But I think 
at least right now, this is the best one that I've had from this series right now. So, yeah, I don't, I don't know where that bubble gum's coming from. Because using US05, we shouldn't, that shouldn't have anything to do with it. It could be just something with that juicy fruit or that, yeah, juicy fruit mixing, I don't know, with a little bit of citrus and spice is giving it. But yeah, I keep on tasting it. So yeah, definitely one I would brew five gallons of. So if you like this review, check out some more homebrew reviews over here. And until next time, happy brewing.